Hey, sir. So I guess I'm a fucking lemon now. You know what I mean? How y'all doing, man? Everybody wide awake and everything? Let's get familiar with each other with a knock knock joke, man. Let's have some fun real quick. Everybody knows how knock knock joke works, correct? Yeah. Let's do it. Knock knock. Who's there? It's the cops. Cops are who? Y'all don't say shit when the cops are here. Y'all can't come to my party. I would like to tell a story very quickly. Uh, Hope you find some humor in it. It's a true story. I was super drunk coming home from the 1 a.m. comedy show on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And salute to all the comics who do 1 a.m. and who somehow are able to manage their drunk through Saturday. I, I'm dead ass serious. Um, I was super drunk coming home. I dropped the young lady off that I was with. She lives in Midtown. So as I'm leaving Midtown, I'm like, I'm too drunk to drive back home to the village. I live in the village. I have to stop and take a little nap. I'm in Midtown, you know, it's whimsical. There's a canopy of trees above me. <laughs> I like shit like that. <laughs> so I pull off on one of these side streets a couple blocks from the park. Let's say it's like 7th and Argonne and 8th and Penn, something like that. And I park my minivan, I drive a minivan. And like I said, it's a canopy of trees above me. It's midtown, it's like cobblestone, tight knit. It's beautiful, you know what I mean? So I climb in the back behind the front row of seats and the second row of seats. <laughs> I'm in a minivan, remember this. And I get on the floor in between the two rows of seats. And I nestle down and I close my eyes and I'm so comfortable, man. And it's quiet and it's warm. And I, I rolled the windows down because it was humid. You know what I mean? And uh I put the keys in my pocket, as I always do, because I'm a man that deals with people with questionable morals, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I close my eyes and I drift off to sleep. And I can't imagine how long I was asleep for, because I was asleep, but let's say I was asleep for 15, 20 minutes, and I'm awakened by the sound of a car door slamming. True story. And I open my eyes. Remember, I'm down in this little alley between the two seats. And there's this big, dark-skinned dude sitting in the front seat of my car. And he's got on an electric blue shirt and like a white washcloth around his neck, tied or some shit. It's midtime. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I just open my eyes and I see this dude. And he's, looking, and he's like rubbing his hands together, like starting to look around. Like, this, is, this, this is real shit. This is a true story. And this is where, you know, you kind of find out how your environment raises you or what type of person you are, because you're never gonna know how you react in situations to your own situation. I raised up <laughs> and I was like, yeah! <laughs> and I grabbed him by a shirt collar and I just started stinging his head. <laughs> and I'm like, get the fuck out of my car! Get the fuck out of my car! And he's like screaming, like, oh! <laughs> I've got custody issues with my fucking kids. I'm losing my kids. I'm not losing my fucking car. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just stinging on the side of the head. Get, get the fuck out of my car. Get the fuck out of my car. So originally, you know, I'm behind him. He can't really do nothing. So he opens the car door and runs out. So I slide the door when I jumps out. And I'm just jumping out to make sure he's running. Now, I'm not trying to, like, chase him. I just want to make sure he's not going to get a gun or a stick or no shit. And he's running. And I'm like, my adrenaline's pumping, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> so I open, you know, the front door's already open from him jumping out. So I'm about to get in and pull off, and something just told me, yo, look in the front seat, you know, or whatever, make sure it's not no needle or no crazy shit down there. So I reaches in, I turns on the overhead lights. It's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fucking piece of shit in my front seat. Oh! <laughs> I didn't tell you, he had an electric blue shirt on. When I seen him run down, he had on these short shorts, like these short gym shorts. Blue. It's, it's midtown. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I scared the shit out the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you, like, my mother and my girlfriend's always told me, roll up your windows, lock your doors. That's a true story, <laughs> man. Y'all have a good night. All right. <laughs> We need a post game. We need a post game. Great storytelling.
Yes, sir. That shit was real <laughs> scary as fuck. My mother's like, oh, God, I pray to God and Jesus every night that you're safe. And what, up, what did you use to clean that up with? Yo, it was, luckily, it was <laughs> solid. <laughs> so I'm out on front, I took a little piece of paper, whatever, I picked it up. I laid like a little dirty pair of a shirt or something I had on, I put it on the seat. And then I took it to the upholstery shit the next day. Here's a true story, everybody. Yeah. 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 Alright guys, two more comics. Next time I'm coming to the stage, get on this couch the whole time. Everybody give it up for David Galloway. <laughs>